Watch from new angle, Jake Paul attacked Dylan Dennis. It's just like kind of my personality, and that's the thing with Marcel too, is like he was getting mad at me for like... Hey look, it's Conor McGregor's bitch right there! Fucking guy, bro. Pussy! 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 I don't know what it was. To be honest, because I got close to it, he hit me with like some metal. But it was, I think it was a water balloon. I was gonna try to jump on the truck, but I couldn't get it. Dude, if we would have jumped, I was on the so truck, close. Yeah. I was gonna try to duck it and hit me with the thing. There's a lot of dudes in that truck. Thank I couldn't get close because God that didn't happen. He drove off. Right I was and if, if they would have jumped out, then I gotta get involved. I gotta dust off the old, the old skill set. I don't think he would actually box me either. And they're like, you don't, you don't think Jake? No, I don't think so. But the thing is, is like gonna that, that's gonna get them millions of views. Yeah. And when you guys fight, like that translates. Dollars for you. I wish you would have got out. Yeah. Can we go find them now? Do you have a car? UFC fighter Khabib Nurmagomedov has been voted BBC Sports Personalities World Sport Star of the Year. Considered by many as the greatest MMA fighter of all time, the Russian topped an online public vote on the BBC Sport website. Khabib Nurmagomedov reacted, This award means a lot for me. Recognition is one of the biggest motivation in the life, as in the sport. Cody Garvin slams Sean O'Malley for suggesting that he would get KO'd by Jack Paul. Sean O'Malley replied to Cody Garvin, Jack Paul probably gonna knock you out. Cody Garvin, you are the softer dude on the roster, where you still are on the roster, right? Drink some more milk, kid, maybe one day you fuck with the big dogs. Sean O'Malley, fight me. Cody Garbrandt, I'll have a stretcher ready for you. Michael Wisping claims Jack Paul contacted him for a boxing match. I'll do it. He'd like to go and say whatever the fuck I want. So Jake Paul, if you want to fucking go, oh, Logan Paul, if you want to go, then I guess you're going to, uh, you know, put your hands in your pockets and man up because you're talking shit. You're contacting my manager and saying that you want to fight. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm here. I'm going nowhere. You want to fight someone? You want to test yourself? I, hey, I'm Owen O as a boxer. You're saying you want to know, you're 2 and 0. I'm 0 and 0. I'm Technically, 0 Technically, from the technical standpoint, he's infinitely more experienced than you in boxing. He has, yeah, like even if I had one fight, he'd have 200% more or 100% yeah. more. He, he's way more experienced as a combat sports athlete than I am. You should Listen, be the underdog. At the end of the day, if you want to do this, okay, stop playing games. You want to do it? I'll do it. I'm here. No problem. Okay. Uh, I'm almost 42 years old. I'm a former world champion and uh, I will take you to school, my friend. And I'll guarantee you this. You won't get out of three rounds. That's an absolute fact. You won't get out of one round, two <laughs> rounds. We'll, we'll say three just to give me that little, little insurance blanket. If he gets out of round two, Bisping, that's a moral loss for you and your family. Well, maybe I'm just going to take my time. Maybe I'm going to do a Floyd Mayweather and just play with him. No, but seriously, though, if uh, he did reach out to my management and, and asked if I would be interested, if this is a real offer, if this is serious, then uh, let me know and uh, and I'll do it 100%. If this is a real offer from Logan Paul or Jake Paul or both of them. Misha Ted grappling Chris Cyborg would be amazing open to MMA return. The internet went a little crazy a couple days ago when uh, you posted that photo of yourself training and I know a lot of people were like, is she going to come out of retirement and all these things? Uh, but you did mention, I think I heard you say something that you still have fights left on your UFC contract. How many fights do you have left? I have six. Oh, do you really? Okay. I wasn't sure yeah, it was that six, much. Six fights. Yeah. So, so if I wanted to fight, which I'm not, but if I wouldn't fight, I wouldn't be able to fight anywhere else then. So you wouldn't like see me like pop up and fight for one championship or anybody else because obviously I can't legally do that. Right. I would like to grapple. Um, yeah. And you know, Cyborg did call me out to a grappling match. That well, case I, I co-host the show with her every week. That's how this all started, yeah. by the way. I don't know if you saw that because your producer oh, yeah, actually reached yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I planted the seed here, but uh, but yeah, I think, I think that's something that I think, because you guys have never fought and I think a grappling I match would be amazing. It would be amazing. I think just we have to, if we want to make it happen, we definitely have to figure out the legalities of it. And, um, you know, yeah, because my fight contract's owned by the UFC, right? She fights for Bellator, and I work and represent one championship. So it's like we kind of have a lot to, we'd ha we would have a lot. But right now, I'm just focused on having fun. You know, this is something that I wasn't able to do in the latter part of my career. The last couple of years of my career were really uh, strenuous. Then a lot of that had to do with my personal life. And I just did, I wasn't having fun. I was exhausted, to be honest, like mentally exhausted before I even got to the fight. I was able to, to really bring it and other ones I wasn't. 
But I want to compete again. I want to grapple and I want to get in great shape and I want to have fun. And that's what I'm doing. Derek Brunson accepts challenge from Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland via Ariel Helvani. I want to beat Derek Brunson up because I don't like the way he strikes. It just looks awkward. It's like a disrespect to striking. It's said that he is knocked out strikers before with that weird striking. Derek Brunson reacted, oh yeah, send me the contract. Junior Dos Santos won't accept Cyril Jan loss due to illegal elbow. Speaking to MMA Fighting, when asked if he would accept the result, Junior Dos Santos says he won't because it wasn't a fair result. It's also absurd that they expect me to accept this result as a normal result. Like it's a fair result. It wasn't. It wasn't a fair result. Dos Santos concluded, I'm a fair guy and I play in a fair way and always have. With the loss, Dana White said he hopes to see Dos Santos retire. There is a huge chance UFC 256 was the last time the Brazilian fights inside the octagon.